Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Konosuba Season 2, Episode 10. Obviously also I'll be reviewing the whole series because, well, I'll be reviewing the season, but it comes to an end, folks. Uh, another another end of Konosuba greatness. It sucks, it really does, because, you know, I, I was really looking forward to maybe seeing maybe a few more episodes. I mean, I, I heard that the OVA is slated to come out soon, so... We'll get one more ep episode, very similar to like what they did with the first season, where they had 11 episodes. If you if you count the OVA episode, but I was hoping because the, the first season did so well in Japan and in America, obviously, that I was hoping they would do like maybe two more episodes or three more episodes or something. But instead, they just want to stick with the 10 format. That's not a big deal. I just wish it would have had more. Now, you know, I'll be reviewing the whole you know season. I'll be doing that obviously in this review, but I'll also be talking really quickly about the episode that we just saw, which. It was okay. You know, I think for a season finale, it wasn't that great. Um, I think it made a lot of homages to the first season's kind of ending, where, you know, everything comes to this closure that's just, eh. You know, it, it really didn't have this, um, I, I don't think there was any oomph factor to it. And it's more so, it's like, once again, they destroyed another village in the process of them saving the day. And, of course, thus, you know, feel like they really didn't win anything in the end, but... I don't know, it really even humor-wise, I think the only time I ever laughed was when, again, our main character died, and he became a skeleton, and it was, like, just hilarious, because, you know, you see him rolling around when every character's being shown in the final moments, you see his skeleton rolling around, and I thought that was just hilarious to me, but, you know, it's it just, besides that, though, it wasn't that great of an episode, I only had a few laughs, unfortunately, but, you know, I, I want to say right now about the whole season in whole, Kodasuba Season 2 started off very strong. It was probably funnier, if not just as funny as season one, which is great. I love that. I think with the last few episodes, we've been getting hit or miss parts where it wasn't until probably episode eight, I want to say, where I felt like the show was a little bit lackluster, but it wasn't that bad still to the point that I'm going to say, oh, I'm not going to rip the score, you know, rip the score all the way down to like nothing for him. No, it was still a very fun show and I still love Kodosuba. I mean, every week I was laughing at something, so it definitely has some humor there. Now, you know... In terms of every, everything I have to talk about, like animation, you know, story-wise, you know, going into Kodosuba, that that is always kind of a secondary. You know, animation is still cute and, and kind of the way it looks is a chance in, a chance of you get really nice scenes sometimes when they want to show really nice scenes and then you get a chance of them showing really ugly scenes because they kind of want to make it look ugly. And, I, and they know what they're doing with that. And I, I appreciate that because I think it's not like weak animation. It's just more so they know that they want to make the scene kind of more funny so they put less emphasis on it which is you know in its own right it's a it's a humor thing but it, it makes the anime the animation in general look mediocre at times and then very good at other times so it's not you know you expect that going in from season one obviously so if you watch season one and you love the animation of that you're not missing much here this the animation is pretty much the same as before and that's a good thing also kind of like man you know you could have stepped up your game a little bit Konosu, but you know you had some extra money from season one. I know you could have probably put that in here a little bit, but it's okay. I won't, you know, I won't complain about it too much. Overall, you know, music-wise and voice acting, all stellar again. I love the opening. I thought it was really cool and clever. Uh, ending, I was not a huge fan of. I think that it was a little bit like, eh, it's not that great. It's very forgettable. I always used to pass it up because it just wasn't impactful enough for me. But in terms of, you know, the story, I, I think that the fact that they kind of just rehashed a lot of what worked in Season 1 and made it work in Season 2 was a good idea. I mean, we already know about the whole debt thing happening, and that was only like three episodes they didn't focus. I was scared because I thought that debt would be like the whole season. But they only focused on it for a few episodes that they started focusing on introducing new characters, introducing, you know, a little bit more of Darkness's story, a little bit more of Aqua and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, that was cool. I, I kind of enjoyed that about the season of the load because we got some more character development from those two. And I always like having more character development from Darkness. I mean, just the stuff that she I'll say right now out of the characters here, if I had to place orders on who was probably the funniest of this season, it might have to be Darkness first in second place. Our main man, Kazuma, and probably third would be Aqua. Mega Man was funny. But she wasn't that funny this season, to be honest with you. She did some funny stuff, but I just felt like she was a little lackluster. I mean, still, to me, best girl of the show, to be honest, but that's just me. But, you know, I, I felt like she was probably the weakest link of the show so far this season. Nonetheless, though, nonetheless, they all are still great characters. And I really still think that this is a show that needs that dynamic of having all these characters on screen. Like, you know, Wiz and all the other girls, they are bad, but they're not as necessary as having our main four. Those will have to be, I think, a staple of the season 
and excuse me, of the series in general. It, you have to have that. Um, but overall, you know, I'll say this right now. I enjoy the shit out of Kona Super Bowl Season 2. I thought it was a great season. You know, it was hit or miss sometimes, obviously, and it had a weaker ending. But overall, if I had to rate it between Nate through F, I have to give it a solid B. I think that this season was just as good as last season. You know, I still think maybe last season was a little bit stronger at the end. I think it was, to be honest. But, you know, overall, I still enjoy it. You know what? And I'll be I'll be frank. I'm going to boost this score up a little bit. I, I usually don't do that too often. But I'm going to give it a B plus because, you know, you take it the fact that I still laughed more than anything else in the show. I don't. I feel like a B is almost too low for it. And in my head, it was very close to a B plus. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just give it a B plus. Anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this review. As always, if you did enjoy the review, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. You know the whole nine. As always, until I pass across again in the next review, have a great, blessed day, everyone. Bye bye.